Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having the best Thursday ever. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea videos every single day, but before you click off, I'm not your typical tea drama channel, honey. I don't believe in canceling. I don't believe in destroying people's careers and I don't believe, you know, sitting on my chair judging people, okay? My channel is more chill vibes. It's like you're FaceTiming your best friend and, you know, you're just gossiping or, you know, chism chismoseando for, the, for my Spanish speakers out there. So, you know, it's just sort of like a chill vibe. So that's kind of the vibe you like, you know, the best friend type. Please subscribe and it would help me out a lot, you guys. So, last night... It was the famous photographer, Brian's birthday. You know, everyone works with him. He's taken so many iconic pictures and everybody, literally everybody, went to his birthday dinner, right? So the problem is that they are now receiving major backlash. So the people who went, among others, Kylie Jenner, Dixie, Charlie, Noah, uh, Madison Beer, Olivia Jade, um, basically, James Charles, LeRae, like, everybody went, right? Every influencer there is probably was at that dinner. Um, the problem, and it was here in West Hollywood, the problem is they're receiving major backlash because they were, you know, a very big group at a restaurant and they were taking pictures and, you know, doing all the, doing the most. So I'm going to read you guys some comments and then we can talk a little bit, okay? So... Um, give me a sec. To the the um, high house members were there too. Honey, everybody was there. Okay, so I'm going to read some comments. If I can find it. Okay, so let's read some comments. So somebody put, don't you know it's okay because they're all wearing masks for the paparazzi. So basically... What I think she means is that, you know, it's definitely okay because as soon as they go out, they wear the mask, but inside, obviously, they take it off. Somebody else put, this shit will never end. It's literally just, it's, it's literally just COVID until we find a damn cure. Um, didn't James just apologize, it, just apologize for breaking COVID guidelines like the other week? Of course, no one will call them out. But if they do, the best we'll get is, I'm so sorry and I will do better next time, which is so true. Everyone has the same, like, apology. Like, I'm going to take this time to grow and to educate myself and I promise to do better next time. I will take full accountability. Bitch, how many times have we heard that shit? The fuck? Again, I've said this before, it's September. Stay home. COVID is still here and you and your state is literally on fire. Um, which is true. I mean, California is crazy. Like right now outside, you guys, the it's, it's, it's beyond, like, it looks honestly like the apocalypse. Like I can't even tell you, I was walking my dogs this morning and there's so much smoke in the air, bitch. I nearly had an asthma attack and I was like, I cannot do this. Like it was just so dark It and it just feels eerie. You know, it feels weird. And I, I'm praying for everyone who's lost their homes and all these things. Like I'm just, it's so crazy. Um, Okay. People need to believe it with their eyes. Um, not what shitty humans post on the internet. So, and then somebody else put, just wait until they all get corona. Not going to be sorry for them at all. So, here is my take on it, right? When it was Lorraine's huge party, birthday party, they were in a house with like hundreds of people, right? So, because I believe it was a restaurant... I do think that he invited too many people, right? Um, especially Kylie. She's just been traveling. You know, she was in France maybe like a week ago. So I do believe there was a lot of people. Now, I think it's okay to go to a restaurant. But I do think it was way too many people. I actually went to a cafe the other day for the first time since March. It was my first time going out. I was very nervous. Um, I went to Earth Cafe here in, I think it's in West Hollywood or Beverly Hills. And, um, you know, they you wait in line 
and then you get seated and it's like all separated and you're always wearing your mask until you sit down on the table. So it wasn't as nerve wracking as I thought, right? But I felt safe. But I don't think I would feel safe if I was at that same restaurant with a group of 20 plus people all around me, you know, screaming and spitting and smiling and taking selfies. That for me, I believe is too much. Now, of course, you know, when I did the video on LeRae, which you can find here on my channel, I got totally attacked because people were basically saying, just let these people live their life. You're just jealous. You didn't get invited. Had you been invited, you would have gone, blah, 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 blah. So there was a lot of people actually defending um, LeRae and, um, and these people, right? The thing is, you guys, I don't know if COVID has affected you personally, but I have seen so many people, unfortunately, pass from COVID. I, I mean, I haven't seen it. You know, I've, I've heard about it. I've read about it. I, you know, I know people who know people. Um, you know, this disease is real. And um, just because you're verified and just because you have some money in the bank right now, it doesn't mean you can't get it, honey. A really good friend of mine just told me um, she lives uh, like in another state. Um, she she got it and she doesn't know how. I know somebody else who um, lives in Miami. She got it too. I know somebody in Colombia, you know, a family member of mine got it. So, I mean, it is real. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like with having a platform, having, uh, you know, a responsibility, a following, uh, of influencing, I do believe that you do have to take more precaution. Um, and I don't think that they do, you know, they're out every single night. They go to BOA, they go to, you know, uh, they go to BOA or catch. Those are the only two restaurants that exist for them. But of course, you know, and I understand that you have to get to normal life again you know what I mean like you have to like this is our new normal and that I fully get that's why we went to the cafe the other day because you know I was like you know what let's see if we feel safe if we don't feel safe we'll leave um so I do believe that you can go out to dinner you know with you know with a small circle of friends that you trust who have been taking very good precautions I mean I haven't done it I really have not seen any of my friends since March. I've only seen one friend and that was very far away from each other. Um, but I'm slowly learning that this is our new normal and we do have to um, make it, uh, you know, make it, make it as safe as possible, but also continue to li your, live your life, but also respect all of the people in the front lines fighting and, you know, curing and, and helping people survive this disease. You know, if you don't take this serious, it's like you're slapping the faces of all the doctors and nurses who are working around the clock, um, you know, helping people with the disease. So I think we all have a responsibility and, you know, I do take it very serious and I don't joke around with it. Um, so I do think too many people went, I think he could have done a more intimate party, but you know, it is what it is. So a lot of people are very upset, but a lot of people are also saying, you know what? It's their it's their problem. Let them get COVID, whatever. And the problem is, yes, it is their problem. They're all adults, but they are huge influencers and people, there's so many young people that just follow everything they do. So, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think of this situation? Let me know in the comments below. I believe there was like almost 20 of them. Excuse me, there was probably like 20 people in the in the um at the restaurant. So let me know what you think in the comments. I love you guys so so much. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who are subscribed. I do want to remind you that September 13th, this Sunday, I will be doing a live at 6 p.m. LA time, which I think it's PDT. Um, make sure that you come on my YouTube channel. I will be going live. I will be making a very special announcement and we will be just having a cute little party online on live. So make sure to tune into that and leave your comments down below of what you think. Do you think they're getting canceled um, for no reason or do you think they should be a little bit more responsible with the whole COVID? 
thing happening. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Please take care and stay safe.